Hello, I'm Robin Feicht at Stamping Country. How would you like to learn how to make this slider gift card? It's super simple to make. I made a bunch of different cards. This one is for graduation because it's that time of year. It's graduation, but you can make all these cards. I've used two basic supplies. One is the Wittyism stamp set, which is retiring. It's only available through June 2nd or while supplies last. And also the best dressed designer paper from the handmade for you, which is also retiring or it's while supplies last or until June 2nd. Mo you'll notice that most of the cards are feminine because the paper is feminine, but I wanted to show you that I that you can make them masculine because I made the masculine card. For a link to shop, uh, look below in the description. This is the card I'm going to show you today, but you can make all of these cards. Talk about awesome. You did it. Super easy, but it's interactive and you can slide in a gift card for the graduate. This one is for retirement. Relax and chachilla out. It's your retirement. And again, the gift card just slides in and out. Thank you very much. I wanted to show you that you could also slip in money or cash. How fun is that? They'll figure out how to get the cash off. Looking sharp. This one, I put the sentiment, the happy birthday, up above because I thought the paper was too busy. And this one is welcome little one. Congratulations. Now the congratulations is the only stamp that wasn't from the wittyisms. I did get that from the well said stamp set. There is one more from the wittyism stamp set. Wow, that went by fast. I didn't use today, but I'm sure you could figure out ways to use that stamp set also. But there are five cards here. Give you some ideas and the the technique will carry on even when the product is no longer available. This is pretty peacock dis, uh, cardstock. I cut 11 inches by four and a quarter and I scored at five and a half. I chose my colors for today's cards from the designer paper. Stampin' Up's designer paper always lists the colors. So this is pretty peacock. You'll notice that on this, on a lot of the other cards, I cut the front panel five and a quarter by four, but this one I made a little bit smaller. It is three inches by five and a half. And then for the inside pocket, you need to cut a piece that's five inches by four inches. And then this is the slider. It's three and a half inches by four and a half inches. This is a coordinating cardstock. It's the mint macaron. And then you'll also need some whisper white cardstock. Let me show you how to make these. First, we're going to score our pieces for the pocket. This is the piece that is five inches by four inches. And I'm going to score a half an inch on three sides to make the pocket. Make sure you use your scoring blade, not your cutting blade. So half inch, you could make it bigger or smaller. I think it gives it a nice little crease. Half an inch. And half an inch. Now while we have our scoring tool out, I'm also going to score one more thing, and that is our slider. So place it long ways, and again, we're going to score half an inch. And that's it. That's the only measurement you need for the scoring except for the card itself. Okay. Let's place our designer paper on our card. Look at, these are all feminine, but there is some masculine cardstock. And you'll notice how well it coordinates, the paper coordinates with the pretty peacock. It's just gorgeous. It looks 
a little more masculine. Now for our pocket, anytime you do anything with any bulk, when you make 3D projects, pockets, envelopes, even seamstresses, when they sew, they take out the bulk. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm cutting off the corner where up to that corner score line. So it trimmed off a lot of the bulk. It'll just lay nicer. Super easy to do. And then put some strong adhesive. I'm using the tear and tape. Anything that you have is strong. You want your pocket to be strong. And I'm going to place that on the half inch flaps. This is going to form the pocket inside my card. It's a good place to tuck your gift card or your money. And then I'm also going to do it where I scored half an inch on the slider part of the card. You'll want to peel off the backing. I'm going to use my take a bit tool. And once I fold these half inch flaps over, you'll see why it was so important to cut off those corners. Everything will fit nicely. It sort of gave it a mitered cut. And it was super easy to do. And then you're going to place this on the inside of your card toward the bottom. Try not to mess up because that adhesive is sticky. And there you go. You have your pocket. Now for the slider. Again, I'm going to pull off the backing. That sticky side is up. Place that in the pocket and put the edge of the slider right on the score line or the fold line. And then just fold it over, press firmly, and you have your slider. How easy is that? Let's decorate. We're going to use the witty sisms. Talk about awesome and you did it. I'm going to choose, I'm going to color them with colors that are in the designer paper. And I'm also using one more stamp set. It's called the well said to get my congratulations. So I'm just using Tuxedo Black stays on ink because I'm going to color with Stampin' Blends. If you're going to color with your watercolor pencils or if you're going to watercolor, you would want to use your stays on ink. So I'm going to stamp the images. You could really color these with whatever you're comfortable with. They're small. They're super easy to color. Oh, let's go ahead and stamp our congratulations across here. I like those little lines. I can line up that congratulations. So that's just about ready. These are the tassels. These also are from the Best Dressed Suite. So these will be going away, but they're perfect for a graduation card, wouldn't you agree? And there just so happens to be some pretty peacock tassels. So I'm going to add that on the inside just because it looks like it belongs. So I'll just stick that to a glue dot. It's really my only embellishment that I've used. These cards basically lay flat. Now back to our coloring. This is Pretty Peacock Stampin' Blends. I'm just using the darker where you see the shade lines and then quickly blend it out with the lighter Pretty Peacock. 
Of course, if you want to match the school's colors, you could change that up and make the, the cap the color of the school colors. This is Old Olive, which is also a color from the paper. The shell I'm actually coloring with the So Saffron. And I don't think that's in the paper, but it just looks like a taco shell to me. So again, the dark and the light blend it out. Give it a little shadow. I'm using the Mint Macron. It's also a color from the designer paper. And we're all done. Now you can use either a punch or one of your circle dies and cut out your stamped images. You'll notice my Stampin' Dimensionals are almost gone. Don't forget to use the edges of your Stampin' Dimensionals. Use every last bit of that. Stretch those craft room dollars. And we'll place these on the front of our card. I like the little fun humor with the stamp set. And I like that it goes across so many different occasions. Now about that gift card, the easiest way to attach it is just simply use a couple of glue dots. And ta-da! How fun is that? Super easy? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe.